Hello everyone. I gladly welcome you to watch this video tutorial on uh, how to use maps in integration account. So before I start this session, let me introduce myself. My name is Kamlesh Kumar. I am from Mumbai, India, working as a technical lead in an organization called GEP. So if you are a beginner in a logic app and if you don't know about integration account, I strongly suggest to watch my previous video, a basic introduction of integration account. So in this sense, map in integration account, uh, there are some prerequisites that you must have to like uh, uh, an Azure subscription, a basic knowledge about the logic app and the basic uh, knowledge about uh, integration account. If you don't know about integration account, please watch my previous video. So let's start. What is map and uh, uh, why we use map? So uh, maps are graphical representation of XSLT documents that allow us to perform in a simple and visual manner to transform the uh, message, transform the XML message. So suppose if you are a regularly receive order or invoice from a customer who uses the uh, uh, date format in something like YYMMDD and uh, however in your organization you support uh, uh, data in MMDD YWF format. So you can use map to transform the uh, YWF MMDD format into MMDD YWF format before storing uh, the order or invoice in your uh, database. So here you can use this map. Next, uh, how to create a map. So there are two types of map in integration account. One is XSLT type and another is liquid type. So you can create a XSLT map file with help of Bistock integration tool where you visually map items between two CXML or XML schema file. So after you build this project, you will have an XSLT document and that XSLT document you can use in this map. Another is a liquid type. So in liquid type, you have to build a liquid file, liquid uh, template file and then you can use that liquid template to uh, create a map. So in this session, we will see how to add a map or how to edit or remove a map and the demo session we will understand uh, uh, how to use how to use this uh, uh, map in integration account so in today's demo we will see when a new employee is joining then details should go to his or her manager so let's move to the uh, azure portal to understand how to add map or edit or remove a map So here we are on dashboard on azureportal.com or if you and here you can see we have the uh, all resources and subscriptions. So we have already created the integration account C sharp demo integration account and uh, I have created two uh, demo logic app that I'll show you in this session. So if you don't know how to create an integration account, I'll strongly recommend it to use my previous video where you can understand how to create an integration account. So before I start this demo, uh, what we will do, we will see, we will see how to create a liquid template and uh, so I have created a sample liquid template here. So this is the liquid template that here uh, we have the information about uh, uh, employee name, we have information about email address, uh, previous company detail, date of joining, department and location detail. So when we process when we process the request, the message will generate in this format. So this is the our uh, um, liquid template and if you can see this is my the request where I am going to pass the information about company, my department, my email. Uh, the first name, last name and the location detail. So I have saved this uh, template in this uh, in this name XML to XML. Okay, so now I'll go to this integration account and I'll click on map. So here I'm going to add the map. So here I'm going to add a map in uh, integration account. 
So if you can see here, we have this map type XLT and liquid. And uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the liquid uh, map type. Now, uh, once I click on, uh, so here we'll select liquid, liquid map type. Now, we have to choose the uh, uh, liquid template from the location. Here we have already saved this uh, template so I am going to use this template I just selected and I click on open when I click on open it's saying like upload completed for XML tank XML liquid template and name is automatically uh, uh, and based on the file name name is already coming and you can add or edit the uh, name so once I click on ok this is saying like successfully added the map uh, XML text and you can find this detail I have I just added this uh, map in integration account okay now add and delete so once you click on this map you can find the detail about this uh, uh, when this when this map was created what is the change time or uh, what is the size of this map which type of map is this and the name of this uh, map now if you want to remove this map you can simply click on this and uh, you can delete this uh, map when you click on delete it will ask you to are you sure you want to delete this certain map once you click on ok it will delete from your integration account so now we have two maps you can see here XML to te text transformation if you want to edit something you can just click on that and you can download it and then you can simply open it and you can edit it okay now let me close this now we'll go to the logic app so if you want to create a new logic app you can go here in all services you can type the logic app and it will come the logic app information you can click on logic app and you can create a logic app but I have already created two logic apps here for this demo for this demo session so I'm not going to click on add logic app I'm going to use this I'm going to use the existing logic app so here XML to text transformation I'm clicking on this so this logic app as I, I have already created so you have to you have to map the logic app and integration account and for that you have to click on workflow setting and this these details are I have already uh, explained in my previous video if you not choose this integration account here uh, your map information will not display in this logic app so you have to choose this integration account then you have to click on save button let me go back to the logic app designer so in logic app designer uh, it's simple like we are uh, receiving a HTTP request we are receiving HTTP request and uh, we are just we are transforming into XML to TXT detail and you can see here we have a content type is body and here if you can see and here if you can see we have a map we have if you click on drop down you can see we have both maps are listing here listed here so whatever the map you are going to use you can click on that map and uh, then the next action uh, the response so once it's success it will throw the response like 200 and it will also throw the transformed uh, data in the body you can see here in transformed XML to text data that we are going to uh, we are going to send in a response so we have added some condition here if uh, uh, if transform body contains the string Kamlish, then it will trigger a notification to uh, it will trigger a notification all right so so this is a simple um, uh, demo that I have created so now let's test this uh, now let's test this uh, demo how it works so let me copy this uh, HTTP post URL and uh, for the posting uh, I'm going to use the uh, uh, simple tool postman let me select this post paste this URL in body choose the raw and in the text I'm going to choose the XML 
all right i have the uh, uh, sample let me copy this sample and uh, let me paste it here so when i paste it and let me click on send button when i click on send it should uh, uh, return the value 200 and the uh, transformed uh, uh, data in t in text format yes and you are there status is 200 okay and you can see here we have this transform data employee name email address previous company date of joining department and the location details now let's go to the uh, azure uh, uh, let's go to the azure to check the log and the steps so let me close this now i'll click on this logic app and i'll go here in uh, history so you can see here it was triggered uh, just made before so i'll click on this and uh, and you can see everything is green so i have received this request here in http request and it was uh, transformed the xml to text this is the our input and uh, this is the output for that um, uh, xml you can see here now and the next in response we have sent this code 200 and this is the body that that uh, that was sent in the status all right and then next was the condition so input was like we have we have said this input like if uh, uh, body contains less so it this is the this is this value is true so that's why this notification was uh, triggered to this email id subject was this and this is the body that was triggered uh, in the email that was a simple uh, logic that that was a simple example of uh, uh, transform xml to txt uh, with the help of map in uh, integration account so see this uh, uh, email that was triggered so hi kamlesh uh, this is a new employee on board hi kamlesh uh, you have a new request on board new joiner please find details below this 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 all right so if you have any query please let us know so that was the uh, simple uh, demo uh, for xml to txt so i have created one another demo one another logic app for uh, json to json uh, transformation so let's open this and see how it was uh, built so in this uh, uh, logic app we have just created the json to json transformation here also uh, it's the same way we are uh, uh, we are getting the request on HTTP and uh, we are just transforming this uh, uh, JSON to in JSON format okay so uh, so let me do let me test this uh, logic app and I have the sample file for this so this is the template that we are going to use so so when so when we process the request the the map will generate the uh, information in this format only okay so you can see here employee name email address company name department and everything is listed here this is the sample that i am going to use so let me copy this sample and uh, let me paste it here let me change this document to json and click on send and i send it 200 it's success and let me go to the azure to check the uh, history if i'll go here you can see this was triggered just now and i'll click on this and everything is green you can see we have this that was the input and this is the output that was generated after this transformation and everything was generated right and uh, in the response if you can see here we have this status code 200 and that's it so that's in a video tutorial and we saw how to create uh, send an employees profile to 
a manager in logic app using template uh, using liquid template and i hope i hope you found this post handy feel free to add your comment or ask any question below if there is anything that you want me to cover with respect to integration account or logic app please let me know thank you have a great day